the developed world and even some parts of the developing world are facing the largest ever demographic change in history. The combination of increasing life expectancies due to improvements of hygiene and our diets, coupled with the issue of low fertility rates, where fertility rates refer to the total number of children born to each woman, being way below the 2.1 needed to barely replace the population, such as Japan's 1.38, Singapore's 1.15, South Korea's 1.09, the EU's 1.61, or Taiwan's 1.09 which is the lowest of the world, just to name a few countries. Unfortunately, this list is not exhaustive and there are plenty more countries whose fertility rates are below 2.1. When the elderly live longer, and more of the population is getting older without young people replacing deaths, then the number of elderly persons a single working adult has to support will increase, the so-called inverted pyramid, and there will definitely be a larger financial burden on you, the future taxpayer in order to finance the elderly's retirement benefits, likely in the form of higher taxes. However, this damage caused by this issue can be mitigated through incentivizing people to, you guessed it, have more babies. There can be money directly given to couples to have more children, but this is a pretty expensive solution. A good thing is that there is a much more viable solution, which would be reduce child care costs. Most young adults choose to not have kids because of the high cost of raising a child, with the biggest cost being child care for the child. If the cost of child care is reduced, we will likely see a rise in fertility rates. France is a great example of a country with affordable child care, with a government-run daycare costing from 4.20 euros an hour to 0.26 euros an hour depending on income levels and they maintain high standards. If the daycare center isn't available, then the cost of hiring a babysitter slash nanny is about 11 euros an hour, with the true cost being much lower due to generous tax breaks by the French government. Whether you agree with the solutions that I've listed, the problem and its consequences will still worsen if we do nothing, which is why I have started this website to highlight the need for action. I hope that you as the reader will also take action, whether it be talking to your friends or family about this, or even petitioning the government or your local authorities to do something, because I'm sure that you would not want yourself and your future generations to suffer from something whose ill effects could have been mitigated. Check out my website along with the references which can be found in the description. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.